Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI, where we're playing as Ramses, and we're going to ram these wonders into your empire. We managed to grab ourselves a beautiful granary over here in the city of Apu. We are still waiting on the important technology of conservation. We are only two civics away from that, so we will soon be able to fill this place with national parks and forests and all those wonderful, wonderful things. We are going to want to get quite a few national parks, if at all possible, so there will be quite a bit of work that we need to do. However, in the meantime, we can always just go ahead and build a few districts. There's also some potential over here for even more national parks. For example, I believe this very nice mountain range right here could make a pretty decent national park. And since we're getting close to conservation, I think it's about time that we got to work on building our wall. So that's going to be one of the priorities that we focus on over the next little while. I actually, I need a build charge up in Swinette. Oh, yeah, this guy's perfect. Sorry, not Swinette. I need a Sayus. I need a build charge to be able to chop for the Ruhr. It's a slight optimization thing, but I think this kind of optimization is worth it. You're going to head up to the north because I want to go settle that lake with you. And unfortunately, I think we might be a little bit too far forward. I guess theoretically we could settle on the citrus here. It's a good settle. It gets me access to another luxury resource. Nobody has given me citrus yet. That ain't so bad. Uh, let's go ahead and sell off some resources there to pick up a bit of cash. Probably shouldn't actually be giving those to the Inca, should I? Well, no, actually, the Incas are perfectly safe. I shouldn't be giving any luxuries to the Netherlands because the Netherlands are the people who are potentially dangerous. Out of curiosity, what is the going rate. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase a little bit of Diplo favor. So it's going for six. And then if I sell two clicks, it's going for seven. So anything worth. So this is the baseline price. So I may as well buy everything cheaper than this and then sell off everything more expensive. There we go. Diplo favor. It's always good. Always good to try and make a little profit on the old Diplo favor. Oh, looks like both of these might be the right price. Let's go ahead and check. Still buying it for seven. So, I mean, I'm not making much money on these deals, but I am making money on these deals. Oh, he's going to buy them for 11 now. Now, if he's buying for 11. No, wait, no, it's seven. It's seven. I accidentally clicked one too many times. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just a small error. I'm going to have to find somewhere new for the settler to go. I'm going to go ahead and put it into the ocean, I think. I would like to get a boat. None of my cities are on the coast here, so I'll probably settle this citrus city and then see if I can't buy a galley. And then I'll use the galley to escort. Perfect. There's a second copy of Citrus that I can totally sell to the AI. I don't want to sell it to Russia. I'm going to sell it to someone else. I'll sell it to Poland. Poland's an acceptable target. I don't want to sell anything to Russia because I don't want him to get any more yields. Because Russia having more yields is a problem for me. I don't want to have to deal with said problem. Oh, nice. We did find the Crater Lake. We have made a decent amount of error score. So I don't, but I don't know how much we're going to need to get truly... The Inca are pretty upset that I've settled too close to him. Stay mad, kid. Plus two envoys. Who do we want to spend them on? I don't actually think I see a target worthy of spending them on, so we shall skip that and instead focus on other areas of the game. Let's kill a little galley. Oh, I didn't quite get the kill. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to level that galley up next turn. We got a mega colossal eruption. This volcano is incredibly well fertilized. Um, it's incredibly happy in terms of its tile yields. We did just get an amphitheater here. Let's get the medieval walls. Let's get the ancient walls in this city. We're doing a little bit of a diversion because it's efficient to do so. We have Limes plugged in. That is the card that gives you 100% production towards defensive buildings, which includes walls. Um, having a look down here at this city, the eventual goal would be to yoink Reno, the city of Wanuku. It seems to be doing okay in terms of loyalty right now. Are the Inca in a golden age? They are not in a golden age. In fact, they are in a dark age. How is the city holding loyalty? We've got a four pop city here. Baffled. I'm baffled that this thing is holding loyalty. My only hope is, I suppose, uh, I can just continue to put pressure on that city. Let's have a little look here. Ah, yes, we do have another chop. Beautiful. And what do I want to do with you? I think this would make a pretty good city for national parks. Like if I put a little national park on this tile and then there'll be what do you call those alpine resort things the ski resort I'll put a little ski resort right there put a little sphinx on this tile i'll put a sphinx on this tile okay and then we do you know another national park here i'll have to buy some tiles to make this work actually i'll have to be like oh, ba -bo, ba boom looks like a forest fire has ripped through this land actually and uh ba boom 
Now, let me check. Does the Sphinx actually get built on Tundra? The, t the Sphinx can be built on Tundra. So that means I can put a Sphinx here and I can put a Sphinx here. So I actually, I have a lot more tiles that I need to buy. And that also means I can put a Sphinx here. And then at that point, like, sure, hold on. One, two, three. Why don't I just put down another, a whole nother national park? This city exists to be a national park city. Like, this is a way to generate tourism. This is a city that exists to translate the rest of all the power, the rest of all the stuff I've done in this game into more tourism. And I think it will be successful in that respect. So my, 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 my greatest hope right now is to find a little island to the southeast that I could potentially settle on. That would make me very, very happy. It would make me an incredibly happy boy. Looks like it's open borders time. It's good to have scouts kind of roaming around because then they let you know, you go check on them. It's like, oh, you're not inside someone's borders anymore. That means I need to go get open borders with everybody on the map. Boom, 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 boom. Get the open borders, get a little bit of money. Dude, I am running on pure high octane muscle memory right now. We are tuned in and you are tuned out. Where are we dropping, boys? Where are we dropping? I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with this builder and I realized that he was coming over here to the Ruhr Valley. Chop for the university, that will get us natural history, perfect. Remember, every time we build a building we get a little, little bit of culture, so we've been benefiting massively from finishing all these buildings. In fact, I, I, I want to say that this, we're only making like 100 culture per turn, but I feel like we're further along. Am I crazy? I can't tell. Can't tell if I'm crazy. Building all these walls are going to be amazing, so like the total cost of walls if we, if we kind of do this, let's do let's do the math on walls, okay? Ancient walls is 80 production. So 80 plus what? Medieval wall? That's 220. So that's 300 production plus Renaissance wall? That's 300. So that's a total of 600 production. Okay, 15%. Um, 15%. 15% of 600. That's 90 culture per city if we build a full set of walls. That's kind of nutty, actually. If you think about that, 90 culture is huge. That's like 45 turns of having a monument. Like, you know, it's like pretty strong. I do need to do just, I need to buy one more tile here. It needs to be this tile so this city can't grow to where I want to go. We do that and we're good to go. Um, do I want to chop in here? Because I could totally chop out all this land and it wouldn't really significantly negatively impact the appeal, but it would significantly increase the rate that the city, like, improves. Oh, something worthy, worthy of rolling around inside the old Trabagan noggin. I don't have Carto, a Carto yet, do I? I think I still need to research Carto, yeah. So I'll get Carto after the siege tactics because I want to be able to embark over the ocean to see if I can find another island city. We have the theatre square, we have the commercial hub. One thing we don't have are works in our theatre squares. And the person we want to buy them from is Wilhelmina because she has the most culture in the game. So we want to take her great work specifically so that she has less. Um, I actually, I want to buy them off her through the quick deals thing. I want to purchase great works of writing from her for gold. One, two. And then what I'll do is I'll seek, seek to sell these to someone else, right? But that'll only be once I feel like I need to actually clean her out of her books. She has four more books and I should have... Yeah, I have another two amphitheaters. All right, there's, there's an amphitheater coming in here and we got the commercial hub in here. So let's get the medieval walls. So yeah, I'm not I'm not in a rush to take all of her books off her. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. It's a very small optimization and I don't need to tor torpedo my economy just to like take books away when I can just, I can get them a little bit slower, but a little bit more efficiently. Um, yeah, we want a Sphinx right there and you're in position for the eventual industrialization. My science is quite low this game. That's something I'm readily and happily willing to admit. Um, it doesn't feel amazing. I'm going to go ahead and harvest the deer. That'll finish this. We'll get the granary next to allow growth. More tiles you can work, the faster the city ascends, ascends its production. I like this phase of the game where you kind of don't have much to do in terms of like actions. Each turn is just like a handful of like repeatable actions where you move this unit to here, you do this thing, you bop bop bam, and uh, it's fairly straightforward. It's nice. You know, there's a certain pleasantness to the whole affair. We're going to turn this lake into a canal. Oh, somebody is stealing gold from me. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to get that spy. I'm working on a spy, so I'll have to start defending the commercial hub in Thebes. Also, there's a copy of chocolate over there that I need to get fixed. Perhaps I can sell off my niter for gold and then use that gold to buy a builder in the city of Memphis. I'm not quite able to afford it. What if I sold off some Diplo favor? 14 gold per turn. He'll buy it for seven. How much can I buy that Diplo favor for? Oh, someone is selling it for five. Six, six, okay. I sell it to Russia for 21, a very slight increase. Can I maybe get like a little bit more cash? There we go. So I'm gonna buy the builder in Memphis. I clicked it in SACE, I don't believe it. Oh well, 
Um, what is it? Pillage that I'm looking for? Yeah, I've just got a single tile over here that's pillaged. So, slightly inefficient purchase. I forgot to plug in the builder card. You know, it, 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 listen, it happens. So, medieval walls. You have completed medieval walls. Let's put some turns into archaeological museums now. Uh, you got your water mill. Go ahead and get me some walls. You got your water mill. Get your walls. And you're in position. Let's go ahead and settle the city. The Inca did ask us not to settle here, but uh, we don't take orders from them because they are gigantic nerds who we don't respect. Can I get a true... Oh, my Pingala has been assassinated. No wonder my science is quite weak, actually. I'm going to go ahead and move the old Magnus to Edfu, where we can start to do fun and interesting things with that city. And I have a little scouty-wouty hanging around inside of China. Um... Yeah, this looks fine. I'll just go ahead and put a little mine there to give the city something actual productive to work. Oh, I think we're about to finish. Yes, it is the University of Sankor. I think this might actually be like the third time I've ever built this wonder. Potentially, this actually could be the first time. I would be very interested to know if I've ever built this wonder, which is why I'm letting you see this movie, because let me tell you, you will probably never see it again. Uh, but the cool thing about this is other civilizations trade routes to this city Provide plus one science and plus one gold for them. Now, assuming we trust this text is true, that's kind of cool. Plus two science for every trade route to the city. Domestic trade routes give an additional plus one faith to this city. Interesting. Kind of curious how that works. Uh, that's going to require a PhD in civology to figure out. Do you reckon I have a PhD in civology? Like, if, like, like would I be qualified to teach a college class on civ? That, like, if I was doing Civ 101, you know, at your local college, would you consider showing up to the class? Do you know what I mean? That's, this, is, this is the kind of question we're at right now. We've completed the intelligence agency in our capital. I'm actually going to use this to counter spy uh, on my commercial hub because I don't want to be stolen from anymore. I would love to get a granary in here just to kind of bump up the population, just another scooch. I'd love to get the zoo in here too. This city actually has really poor production when you consider like most of my cities usually have a lot better production. Very, very bad production this game. I would like to promote Pingala with Curator and then to put him back in my capital. I'll have to do that next turn. And we got our first actual spy. Let's go ahead and start stealing cash. Or should we steal tech? I think cash would actually serve us better. No, because if we start stealing tech now, yeah, let's start stealing tech. So I'll steal from Amsterdam. They seem like a good spot. They've got sanitation. They've got a bunch of things. So we're going to steal tech with them. Let's not harvest yet. We're waiting for the old Magnus to be established. We're waiting for Carto, really. The Renaissance era is soon. We shall grab medieval walls, Renaissance walls. All the walls are coming up. Conservation is coming in four turns. We're about to hit a very, very nice peak here. We have managed to steal 16 tourists at turn 164. That's pretty damn respectable. Um, I think we, we go to here, you can see tourists have started to show up at all of our wonders. So I feel like we're on a good pace here. Um, really just conservation is going to be the thing that changes stuff around for us in terms of trade routes. I forget who we were trading with. We were trading with Hansa. I think it's important that I start trading with players. So I want to get a trade route with Russia. I really want to get a trade route to the Netherlands. So that would be an important one. Alrighty, we just got the Chancery in Rakadet, getting us plus three influence per turn, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and get those medieval walls. So now the reason why I'm building walls, by the way, just to explain this, is when you build walls, you receive tourism after advancing to the Conservation Civic. Uh, you get one tourism, for the ancient walls, two tourism for the medieval walls, and a three tourism for the Renaissance walls for a total of six tourism, which is not bad per city, right? If we if, if we take a look at the empire right now, and we look at something like the Great Bath, this is producing six tourism per turn. Um, my Hanging Gardens is producing six tourism per turn. My St. Basil's Cathedral is producing three. So it's it's like on par with building a wonder in, in terms of tourism output. Like it, it's, you know, it's not going to produce as much as a wonder throughout the entire game. But I would say pound for pound, production per production, cog that you put in, you're going to get a pretty good return on investment if you build walls, especially because remember, we're building these walls at half price. So we're really only spending 300 production for six tourism per city. That's on par with an early game wonder, but we're not spending early game production. We're spending mid game production, which is to say production now, like at this phase of the game, isn't worth as much as production from earlier in the game, because earlier in the game, production was much more scarce, much more difficult to come by, much more difficult to assess the quality of. So there's the Renaissance era. We'll go ahead and grab Renaissance walls. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be heading into a dark age here, which is mildly upsetting. It's not going to be the end of the world. There's conservation. We love to see this. It's what we love to see. So we come up into here. We drop the Gothic architecture. We keep invention. We drop land surveyors. We plug in 
the beautiful, the wonderful serfdom. We plug in the useful, beautiful um, liberalism. We confirm our policies. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Merchant Confederation? Yes. I will take Merchant Confederation for 25 gold per turn. And now I can start to produce builders again from the city of Memphis. Let's see if, can I trade for any cash? Oh, come on. Oh, there's 200 cash. That's a builder right there. Oh, yes. So now we want to like have a little scan around to find spots where we might squeeze in a national park. Oh, it would have been nice. If this wasn't a lake, it would have fit so perfectly there. How unfortunate. Well, I tell you what we'll do. We'll pop in here. Boom, boom. We want to get rid of the sheep before we do. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of the sheep before we place these ones. We want to get rid of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we could probably put this one down pretty comfortably because we only need to plant woods in here. We don't need to do anything else with that one. Uh, so now that we have conservation, we got three envoys for that and we got tourism from walls. We could build naturalists and national parks. We also have access to the sanctuary as well as resource management. Now we would like to make our way towards neighborhoods and in, more importantly towards democracy and the sort of late game governments because it's time to transition to our late game uh, civics. Okay, so it looks like Peter would like an aid request. I'm going to go ahead and accept his aid request. That seems like totally reasonable. Plus, it means other civilizations will waste their time and resources helping him out. Let's go ahead and get more walls going. You, my friend, are heading on down to The Good Place. Never really finished watching The Good Place. It was like, it was an okay show. I should really get back into it. We can pillage 156 stone production from here. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and harvest an overflow into... I feel like that oh, that should have overflowed more, but who knows? First National Park is up. Do I want to place this? It could help us secure a Golden Age. Boosh. Plus four era score and a few amenities, which is quite nice. Two for this city and then one for each of the four closest cities. At least that's how it was described to me. Oh, I'll take another great writer. Edgar Allan Poe, my good old friend. Apparently, we have no room for your great works of writing, Edgar. You shall have to stand around for a little while while we make room. Renaissance walls. We love our Renaissance walls, don't we, fellas? By golly gosh, we do. Cartography is finished, giving us plus two gold from our fishing boats. We've also got Caraval and Casa de Contracion as potential. I don't think we'll be building many more wonders this game. I think I'm all wondered out of it. Um, it has been a very wonderful game, though that is something that I will happily and readily admit. You know, if I put a Sphinx here and a Sphinx here, this would make a pretty good national park right here. And this is the most important thing that we're looking for at this phase of the game. It's just like easy national parks that we can kind of fit into our build comfortably without really having to do much on the know, organizational side of things. We could just be like, oh yeah, National Park, it'll fit right there. Yeah, it'll, it'll fit right there, right here, right on the refrigerator. Let's get the going. Gain sources. We love our sources, don't we? Source? You got a source for that, bro? The, uh, the calling card of an internet debater. An internet comment section debater, I might add. We shall harvest that. How badly do I want to go? How badly do I want a normal age? Do I even want a normal age? I can get one. I can get a normal age here. Let's buy the naturalist. Come in here. One, two. I need a little bit more cash. Hey, yo. Buy my resources. Thanks, buddy. And then I need to buy this tile. And then you shall make another national park right here. That will secure us a normal age. I don't want to deal with a dark age, man. I'm a, I'm a bright-eyed, bushy-eared guy. I want to be happy and friendly and, you know, singing songs and dancing on the moonlight. Dancing on the moonlight? Or dancing on the ceiling? In the, in the moonlight? On the moonlight? Moonlight is involved, okay? That's that's the important piece of information there. Moonlight is involved. Uh, okay, we got a renaissance for walls. We do love that. Shall I get a market? A theater square? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think a market would be quite good. The more trade routes we have, the more tourism we can make. And we're at a level of tourism now where a trader actually represents quite a large boost in our tourism. Let's go ahead and drop a little commercial hub. We'll grab ourselves a theater square. Or rather, an amphitheater in the theater square. There is potential in these islands for me. I was actually the first to meet... No, I wasn't. Jadwiga met her. Okay. Met, met them. Uh, keep exploring. Here we go. We plant a little naturalist. Plus three era score. That is a normal age secured. We're just normal age. We're just normal men. The world enters into the industrial era. And I could not be happier about that fact. We do have nationalism now, giving us access to another spy, and more importantly, access to the ability to combine our units together. Should we decide to go for a little bit of a war? Push X in chat if you'd like to see me go for war. Of course, there is no chat because this is a recorded video. 
and I'm in a room on my own. Uh, let's go ahead and promote Pingala. I totally forgot to assign him to my capital, as I usually do. Uh, anybody who had bets on that in the comment section, well done. You win exactly four pogs. You are going to have to wait about 40 years until the pog concept becomes popular again and you can get some. But rest assured, you have earned your pogs. We have access to civil engineering, which is a thing that I'm not particularly interested in. I could use a couple of builders in here just to retool this landscape slightly. I don't really have much in the way of governor titling to get around to. Uh, I mean, I guess technically Reina is quite good if I put her into Sena. I might get some extra yields out of it if I promote her with the forestry management. Like, that's pretty okay. Eventually, when she gets established in there, it's like, not bad, you know? Gustav Eiffel would be nice if we could get the Eiffel Tower again um, in games back to back. You know, that would feel pretty darn good. Let's grab ourselves a naturalist. And let's make sure we swap the tiles. Boom. So we should have a naturalist. Yep, that's perfect. Let's have a look and see what art is for sale. So previously recruited, great art artists yeah a whole bunch of great artists have gone enough different landscapes let's talk to russia i want to purchase the great works in particular i'm interested in landscapes so kamalud din bezad i will buy and hasegawa tahugawa and now i want to talk to russia and find his other landscape really is that it wait who is the other person with landscapes hang on there ain't no way yeah, the view of Toledo. So Russia should have the view of Toledo. Ah, uh, he probably hasn't made it yet. Let's buy the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo. And then we will buy the Ascension by Andrei Rublev. Then I would like to buy Russia. Do you have any great works of... Here we go. Hieronymus Bosch. Perfect. So now that should allow me to theme a museum. If I scoot these over. There we go. A themed museum. Cultural heritage is boosted. We're making 12 tourism per turn here in the capital city of mm, Thebes. Oh, no, I want that in Thebes. Ah, this piece of artwork is in the way. Damn it. Unlucky. It would have been nice to be in Thebes because, of course, Pingala doubles the yield on um, great works. Great works of art, especially. Policy slot, village time. Yeah, I think it's time we just we keep public works plugged in. We're still building builders. We're not building them particularly quickly, but we are building them. Sent an envoy. I've got nine envoys. I could take Susan to you of Mohenjo-Daro and I should at least get three in here because that's a significant amount of culture that I'm missing out on. But I don't know if I should take Susan to you. Full housing from water doesn't seem particularly interesting to me. None of these abilities in here seems interesting at all. Um, none of them give like tourism. None of them give bonuses. None of them, none of them do the things that I want them to do, which makes them terribly uninteresting to me um, to try and fight for. Renaissance walls finished in Rakadet. Is that flooding there? Is that a goddamn barbarian ca privateer blowing up my goddamn districts over here? You son of a gun. How dare you? Best response to this is to try and get something to protect this. That's incredibly annoying. Right, let's go ahead and sell some resources off. Can I buy something that would help me out with this? No, I need like a little bit more cash. Uh, I'll get my own privateer to fight them off. Sounds good to me. And get repairing on the Diplo Quarter. God, the AI, the AI barbarians can be just so effective at being annoying. Like they're just, they're so good at it. Like you'd swear they practiced. Boom, another national park plus three era score. The nice thing about this park is it actually connects the little fences. They go over the river. You can see that. It's really cute. It's very nice. Let's go ahead and recruit that great artist. We got diplomatic favor, repairing. Ba -ba 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 -bam. Uh, let's see if we can find that privateer again. There he is. Bring my own privateer up. Shoot him, then kill him. Okay, we've taken out that privateer. We have access to another trade route. I suppose I'll get you to build that trader. That would be handy. We've got medieval walls here. Go for those renaissance walls. The tourism is up to 200 per turn. We've already got 29 out of 190 tourists. Quite annoying that, again, there's one player in my games every single time that just has way more culture than anyone else. And today it is Russia. So I need to clean Russia out in terms of their great work. I think that's going to be the goal here. We just need to get them out. Goddamn Russia. Always doing so well on their great works. It's incredibly frustrating. Here's the thing, it would be worth more tourism if I put a Sphinx here, even though it'll hurt the tiles yields, I will do it anyway because the extra tourism is worth it. That's plus four tourism per turn there that I just picked up and uh, I did not actually mean to make a great work there. I made a goddamn portrait. What a silly Billy I am. This is, this is where the danger of Civilization VI uh, muscle memory comes in. You'll make moves that are bad 
because they were acceptably okay moves at some point in the game's history. We did now, Justin, get an archaeological museum and say 17 turns is a very long time for an archaeologist. I can't buy it with faith. I'm going to have to hard build it. I think it's worth it. It's very, very expensive, but very, very worth it building. Let's go for the theatre square in Buto. Um, there, that's fine. It'll take 15 turns. Over here in Amsterdam, um, we were looking to steal tech. So we've established a thingy and now we're going to steal tech at every eight turns. We should be able to get three tech steals off and we should have a reasonable chance of success. A reasonable chance of success. Do you know what? In my opinion, do you know what would fix the preserve uh, being a little bit dodgy? Is if the preserve itself could be a part of a national park. God, it would actually help the preserve so much. It's a little bit scuffed that it can't be. So something we're going to do here is because we need just a smidge more science, I'm going to plug in military research because that might not look like much science, right? 14 per turn. It's actually just enough. It's just enough to shred away a few turns off a few of these texts to get us to flight that much sooner. Um, it represents about a 20% science boost, which means uh, things take on average, oh, I don't know, uh, 20% yeah it's 20, 20, 20 we get things 20% faster I think it actually translates just perfectly it, it, it's it's the math it all works out just fine I need to get this tile over here repaired I mean it's not a, it's not a productive tile so it's not the end of the world if it stays pillaged although like you know we are missing out on like two food and two gold there I think I'm far more interested in repairing the chantry and building the theatre square in the city of Rakadet. Uh, neck end, time for your renaissance walls once again. Because remember, each one of these renaissance walls I finish is worth six tourism and two science. Very much so worth it buildings to build and finish and complete. God, are there really no little cute little islands for me to settle on, to schnarfle away a little city on? I need to buy some portraits from people. Uh, renaissance walls in Thebes is looking okay. I think we should go for the market. Yes, trade routes matter a lot to me. We also need to get another spy. You got your amphitheater. Go ahead and get your archaeological museum. That's perfect. You're scouting. Awesome. I have no use for this settler. I'm feeling bad now. I overbuilt settlers. I'm going to send them out into the great blue beyond and see if we can just find a random chunk of land to settle them on. Let's harvest here. And we have quite a bit of forest for us to plant to try and make sure we improve the appeal of our cities. Remember, a forest gives plus one appeal to the tile that it is on and plus one appeal to all of the adjacent tiles. Old growth, unchopped forests, they provide plus two appeal to the tile that they're on and plus one appeal to the tiles they're adjacent to. So just do keep that in mind. Old growth forests aren't as good as you think. It's almost always, in fact, I would go as far as to say it is always worth it to chop forests. They're, the only way it wouldn't be worth it is if you had built like, you know, dozens upon dozens upon dozens of builders and they were ex incredibly expensive. Then maybe it's not worth it. But let's get the market going. Unit needs orders. Keep scouting with the little scouty man. Come on, there's got to be some untouched piece of land out here to the east. I think it's time that we plant down our little naturalist here. We'll pop you in. Bum, bum, bum. We'll go ahead and do that. Right, plus one error score. Industrialization. You step over here. Create a national park. There's plus three error score. And then we are good to go. We should probably make our way towards steel. That'd be quite nice. Uh, we have industrialization. We really want to get to flight. We're four techs away from flight or we could get the steel. I think I'm going to go for flight first because I want the, I want all my sphinx to actually be producing tourism. So the sooner we get flight, the better. And then we'll go for steel and see if we can get the Eiffel Tower. Um, so I would like to get the Ruhr Valley just because I think it's a cool wonder. It doesn't really fit into my game. Oh no, it's gone. Somebody already built it. Oh well. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes it crumbles in your bed. Is there anything worse than crumbs in your bed? Honestly. So we're trading with Inca. We're trading with Russia. That's good. We would like to trade with New Orleans. So we shall. It's another player we're trading with. We definitely need more trade routes. We could also really, really use a spy. So go ahead and get me that spy. We've got Renaissance walls in Mendez. Go ahead and get me the shrine. There is a Yerevan in this game. So we can make good friends with Yerevan. Are you doing? You're exploring. Excellent. We found another city state. I'd like to stay suzerain of Yerevan. Lahore. Every time, every, well, not every time, but sometimes when I see Lahore, I think of Lahir is here from uh, Age of Empires 2. A crippling blizzard. Do you know what would be a nice little modification to the game? Right? City centers, they should provide appeal, like they should provide tourism based on their appeal. They just, you know, once you get to a certain era, city center give you a, give you a little bit of tourism. Just a little, little, little trickle, little trickle of tourism. Just a trickle based on their appeal. I think that'd be fun. You know, just, just fun. I'm role-playing as the Maori right now, just sending a settler out into the ocean. 
Uh, units of the promotion class. Ranged is obviously the best one. Plus 100% production towards city center. Thank you. I would like my walls faster. Would have been nice to have gotten this last thingy when I was going to be doing all this because it would have saved me so much production. But hey, look, that's... Hey, listen. My name is Navi. Hey, yo, we found the Great Barrier Reef. There's a little bit of error score, and we circumnavigated. We're on a pretty good pace here for error score. This early into the game... This early into this era, rather. We haven't founded a new... Oh, 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 oh. Yes, we have. So if I step you into the city and I teleport you down here, we can go ahead and fill this up. You on the other hand... I'm going to move this landscape to here, move this landscape to here, and then I need two more portraits. So let's have a little look here. Q Ying, I think I definitely haven't taken a Q Ying one before. Ah, oh, man, I have to wait another three turns. How annoying. Oh, I'm rolling my eyes. Let's get a couple of portraits. Portrait, portrait, portrait. No portraits. Okay, interesting. Didn't realize there were no portraits on the goo. Let's get a Sphinx. There we go. Um, no, I think I am going to create the Agatha Bass and then sell it. Although I think they in instituted the rule that you can't sell a great work the turn that it comes out because it's only worth one gold. There was like a hilarious exploit back in the day when like the first turn that a great work was created, um, it had like near infinite value and you could basically trade a great work of writing that you created for like someone's entire empire. Well, it wasn't exactly like that, but it, it was one that I abused for a very, very long time to great effect. Um, it was a super fun time in the game's history, but their fix for that was just to make it so that great works are worth one coin when they first are made. So I get to, wait, oh wait, I get to pass as a portrait. That actually kind of suits me. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, it kind of suits me. We got the market in the capital. Let's go ahead and pick up a trader. We are a little bit light on gold because we have been selling off things. We got the Renaissance walls. We got the fully built encampment. It might be good to start pre-building a few military engineers because I, I do feel like I have a few cities. Maybe? Do I have any lowland? I must have some lowland, right? How do I... Is it coastal? I search for coastal lowland, right? And I look around my empire. Okay, there's like a little bit. There's like a little bit of my empire. Actually, not as much as I needed. Wow, maybe I should have done this before I started building this thing. Well, I guess this military engineer is redundant. I don't need it. Instead... It would be kind of neat if you worked on an entertainment complex. Let's open up the city overlap button. It looks like we've got a five city overlap here. A six city, seven city overlap in here. Can I steal that tile and place our good friend, the entertainment complex there? And you'll just go ahead and make my other cities happier, which is like a beautiful thing. The people who make other people happy, those are beautiful people. Although still don't, don't do it to the detriment of yourself, okay? That's not the point of it. The point of it is to make you plus the other person happy so that the total sum of happiness in the universe is net positive. Don't like suction happiness away from yourself to make someone else like a, a mediocrely happy, okay? Just don't do it. It's not worth it. It'll never be worth it. That's you. I'm talking to you, codependent person in the, watching this video. Uh, escape on foot. Awesome. Governor title. Nope. Um... Don't care about the governor title. Yeah, I mean, none of these are particularly good. I guess I'll take tax collector. Like, fine, I'll take a little bit of extra cash. Who cares? Like, askers. It's not my tempo, but tell you what is my tempo. Getting the raven is a great work of writing. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I would like a caravel, but, you know, I also like having money. So, really, that's kind of like the 99% of just being an adult with any amount of money at all. It's like, I would like this thing, but also having the money is pretty good. Um... And it's not even that having the money is particularly good. It's more like not having the money is really bad. <laughs> can anyone relate? I think I can relate. So we've got the commercial up. We've got the theater square. Did we get the archaeologist though? This is an art museum one though. So how do we get more culture? How do we get more tourism in the city? One way, well, we could, like, technically we could build it a pretty damn good. We could build a pretty damn good. Um, campus in this city. I don't, that's a plus five campus on top of a mine. I'll take the plus... Do I, yeah, I'm going to get the plus five. It's worth error score if I get the plus five. It cost me a hill. Listen, I'll die on a different hill, okay? Listen, there's plenty of hills for people to die on. And if I'm going to die on a hill, it's going to be the one where I build my goddamn campus. So don't come at me with this, you know, lollygagger energy about where I put my goddamn campus. I don't need that energy in my life. I will do this. I will put a point to the Mogadishu to get a little bit more cash in the bank. Why am I losing so much money? I don't understand. I should be making bank. I should be making the big bucks. So what I had wanted to do was to come in here and I want to move the landscape up to here. And then in Thebes, I want to create the religious work. I'm going to sell this one. 42 gold. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell? The guy, he, the guy just got robbed. He actually just got robbed. And I'll eventually shift these around. Oh shit. 10 turns. You got to be kidding me. I got to buy a portrait. I, I need a, need a, give me, what's this? Titian? I'll take it. Perfect. We'll, we'll sort this out later. God, it's a 
terrible, awful mess. I, the hot take, okay? Hot take, not being able to move great works is like the dumbest thing. It's a very, it's a stupid mechanic. It serves no purpose. It's antiqu- antiquated, antiquarian, old thing. Old. Old, old, old. That's the words I'll say. Oh, this fucking scout is... How did you even get there, my dude? How did you even get there? How did you get to this tile? How the... How did he... He, like... How? How did he get there? I don't know how he would get there. Like, how is it possible that he was on that tile? I don't get it, dude. That was, like, magic. That was, like, a magic trick. That was, like, David Blaine. If David Blaine was a scout, that was David Blaine. Right there. Uh, Let's go ahead and buy ourselves another naturalist. I need to wait a little bit of cash... Let's keep getting theater squares. Theater squares are one of my best sources of tourism, so I will just continue to build them because they're really good. They're really, really, really damn good. We definitely need like a couple builders in here, so we'll kind of get that under wraps. Like a bohemian wrap sody. Huh? How'd you like that one? No? Minus two, plus two, minus two? Okay. Scientific theory. We harvest this sheep. We go ahead and purchase the naturalist. The naturalist will create this next turn. You skedaddle and skadoot and make ourselves a sphinx. God, I love I love seeing these high appeal empires. There's something really satisfying about them. I still haven't reinstalled the detail appeal lens because I'm an actual bomb. <laughs> I'm incredibly lazy. It's not that I'm lazy, okay? I recently got a positive assessment in the direction of having ADHD. So it's not that I'm lazy, it's that I forget, okay? I have, a, I have an explanation now. Not necessarily an excuse, but an explanation. Now, what that means for the future of me, who knows? Uh, but I think it explains a lot. <laughs> I think it explains a lot. Um, let's go ahead and take this artifact. We want to get a production item in here. Ooh, we could get a factory. I like the idea of getting the factory in here. While this factory doesn't necessarily cover many cities, we're talking a four city coverage on this one and uh, like a two, like a three city coverage on this one. These are not very many cities. I would like one somewhere central. It would be super nice. Ooh, right there. Now that, that right there. That's an industrial zone. This is even better. Actually, this is Omega better right there. So I can get an industrial zone right there or potentially right here. Either of those will do me. Um, oh shit. Actually, plus seven cities. That's a seven city industrial zone right there. Now that is based. That should basically cover our entire empire. So we'll get that factory online. Astrakhan, guess what you're working on? Guess right. You're getting an industrial zone for me, baby. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest this. Two turns on the theater square. We've dropped down a little woods. You go there, create the National Park, delete, delete, and you, my friend, are on the way to a beautiful life. Step up to here. Do I want to make this National Park yet? Eh, fuck it. We'll make it. It's tourism now. Tourism now is worth just as much as tourism later, except tourism now is ever so slightly better and more optimal. Uh, (laughs) I want you to get seduction because I want you to be able to counter spy on this commercial hub a little bit more effectively. Hello, Coupe the Poupe. Nice to meet you, bud. A significant blizzard. Not that we care. Claim a great person. (gasps) Mary Leakey, the lady of the artifacts. He is making 66 great scientist points per turn. Holy shit. China. What the hell is, how is, is he doing that? Um, well, shit. I was gonna give the campus theaters this thing a go, but, uh, let's do the math on this. So if I take 2,455 2, 2, minus 366, okay, that leaves us with 2,000, and we divide that by 220, sorry, we divide that by 22. We need to make 94 great, great people points per turn if China does not change. There's no way. There's no way it can be done. It can't be done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one turn into my campus projects and then see how things look next turn. And if things are still looking grim, I'll, I'll pull out, drop a little sphinx to give extra appeal. Remember the, the sphinx gives plus two appeal, I believe, to all adjacent tiles. So like the appeal here should be actually pretty high. Yeah, we're talking seven. Now remember that translates directly into how good this national park is because the national park generates tourism based on the appeal of each individual tile inside the national park. So if I go to the appeal map mode, right, and we see here it's uh, five plus eight plus seven plus seven so seven plus seven is 14 plus eight is 22 plus five that's 27 and you'll see this is in fact making 27 tourism so you can see how the math works out you know it yourself you have no excuse on how not to make national parks anymore you gotta make them they're important they're useful they're beautiful i'd like to trade with chengdu i want to tra- trade with china it's important that i trade with china because um I need to make more tourism. Speaking of tourism, we're at 50 out of 216 tourists here. So there's a good chance we could win the game in the next episode, depending on how good we do after flight, 
how quickly we pick up steel and how quickly we pick up computers and how we manage to navigate our way through the end of the tech tree. But I would call this a pretty damn successful game so far. We've managed to get a ton of tourists into our wonders and it's been an absolute joy to play Ramses with this insane really strong passive culture game right because all of our production is getting converted into culture at least at some rate right and that's that's really 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 damn nice just a really fun straightforward culture game one of my one of my favorite ways to play the game no 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 mods no modes just a straight up strong culture game with a strong save that's doing really well on a cool map um yeah Super, super, super fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I love you all very much, but that's going to be it for me for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.